Hey guys, it's Liddy here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I turned some hardwood pallets into some cute Christmas ornaments for Christmas. So, let's get started. Alright guys, welcome back. So, just like I said, we're going to be taking some um, old pallets that I got from a local pet store that consists of a lot of hardwood like um, maple and oak, which is super nice for um, projects and it's really cheap because it obviously didn't cost me anything. Um, and then I'm going to be using the Creality uh, laser that I have that I did a review on um, to make these really cute um, ornaments. And they're super, super easy to use. Um, one thing I forgot to mention in the video um, is I'm using software called Lightburn. Now I did mention that in the review of the laser and it's super, super nice uh, software to use and super easy to use. So let's get right into taking the pallets. So the first thing I always start off with is of course cutting down the pallets. Now when I choose my pallets, um, I try to choose ones with hardwood in it like maple and oak, um, but there's always some pallets that have uh, pine in it. So I just obviously keep those for other projects, but for this project I will want to stick with harder woods because it just makes the ornaments turn out a lot better. So I just cut them down and um, a lot of them, as you can see down there on the floor, still have a lot of nails in them, but I do eventually cut those off. And I'm totally fine with shorter pieces of wood. Um, this isn't a long, uh, project that needs longer wood. Um, so these will all be cut down to short pieces. Uh, I think they're probably about like 18 inches long, each of them, or 15, something like that. Um, and then I sort the ones that don't have nails in them, and then I sort the ones that do so I can um, separate them so I know which ones to cut down. So again, I just used my um, saw here to cut them all down. It took a while. I got I usually get about four pellets each time, and I always get them from my local pet store. Uh, and so here I'm cutting off each part of the nails, and no matter the length, I always keep the wood, um, but I throw away the chunk that has the nails on it just so it doesn't go through my planer. And I don't always do all of the wood from each pallet. Um, I just grab a section that I need for the project that I'm going to do. Now I took more here than I needed, but I wasn't sure how much I was going to need overall because I was going to be making a certain amount of ornaments. Um, but after I cut all of the nails off, I try and flatten one side to prepare it for the planer. I use my, uh, I believe this is a 6 inch or an 8 inch joiner, um, and it's really nice. Sometimes the boards are too... Um, wide so then I just throw them through the planer uh, instead of joining one side but once one side's jointed then I do uh, one of the thinner sides so that I can uh, put it down and cut the edges off on the table saw once it's actually flattened so when I plane each board down uh, for this um, project I'm planing them down to about an eighth of an inch thick because that's how thick I want each ornament to be um, but I don't do that with every board because I know that I won't need every single board um, that, I will, that I will be planing down. So um, most of the boards here uh, I do plane down to a, an eighth of an inch that you can see me cutting. I trim off each edge and then uh, sand it. But the ones I don't, I just clean up uh, both sides surfaces and then when I actually use the pieces, then I will plane them down to the specific thickness. But um, the reason I'm sanding these is because I have to get the grits out of each from the planer and then I measure the pieces I need for each ornament. So once each piece is cut, um, here I have a bunch over here stacked up. I always have a bunch ready. Um, they are probably about three inches by maybe two inches or so, something like that. Um, I don't know the specific sizes uh, of each piece I cut, but they're roughly this size. And the way I um, adhere it to the bed is I just use the double-sided tape method that I use on my CNC machine. So I just use some masking tape on one side and then some masking tape on the bed here. And as you can see, I have a, a right angle here with some Sharpie. And that is to help me line up where the laser is set up and to make sure that this is actually square. So this line here is square to the actual bed. It's just obviously inset. So I put some um, activator or insta-set on to this piece of tape and then I just put some dabs of super glue on this piece and then again line it up so it is on here in the right area. Hold it for a couple seconds and then I have to uh, line it up in the Y axis so I have to put on my safety glasses here 
and then I'll turn on the uh, laser on this low setting and then move it to make it in the corner. So it's already set up in the x-axis so I just have to move it in the y and then set it in the corner, shut the laser off, and then it is ready to start burning the design. So now as you can see, let's take it off here, and now we have our um, ornament. And so what I do next is um, cut around the sides to trim off the excess with the bandsaw, and then um, go to the sander and sand it off. So I'll show you that. Alright, so the final thing to do is um, I use this um, kind of like sealer stuff. It is actually mineral oil and beeswax mixed together. I believe it's called like Cat's Mosaic Goop. And this stuff is great. I use it on cutting boards and everything. And it really makes the hardwood pop out uh, the color. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. So I just put some on my fingers. Um, sometimes I use a towel, but I don't have one right now. And just rub it in. And it actually like seeps into the grain. Um, now it does it's a little oily but you let it seep in and then after a couple hours or even a day you just wipe it off wipe off the excess and you get this nice color um, ornament so this is this is what this one looks like and this is some walnut that I did and I used the same stuff on here and as you can see it just brings out the color of the wood it just is really nice um, and makes it pop so all I got to do next is add these um, hooks so it can be hanging on the tree and that is it. Alright guys so that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now um, I just made all of these designs on a uh, software called Canva online. It's super easy and cheap and then I turned everything into an SVG and then again exported it to my uh, software Lightburn that's really easy again to use and um, these fonts I got for free online um, so if you're wondering about that and uh, again these are just super easy gifts to give out and they don't really consist of a lot of work besides tearing the pallets apart but um, when you get pallets you can use it for many many different um, projects and again like I said I tear apart a couple pallets and um, I clean up like about two pallets but I don't use all of that wood for one project I did use a lot because I had to make 300 um, ornaments for my church so that consisted of a lot of pallet wood but again it was super um, cheap and easy to do um, just took a lot of time but I had a, fun, a lot of fun doing it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any questions please let me know down below in the comments and I'd love to hear from you again thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video bye